Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MT Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a Realtek PCIe GBE family controller is continuously disconnecting, so if you're having problems with your internet connection. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully address it without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, type in Control Panel, Best match should come back with Control Panel right above App. Go ahead and left click on that. Say you're viewed by either large or small icons on the right side. And then select Network and Sharing Center. Select whatever network connection you're currently using here. So go ahead and just select any connection type. Just click inside of there. And now you want to select the properties. Select the configure button. Select the advanced tab. The first thing you want to look for is auto disable gigabit. So you want to just go ahead and locate it on this list here. However, I do not actually have a real tag network connection, but if you did, there should be something that says auto disable gigabit, which I'll have up on the screen in the video. And then in the value field on the right side, you would want to click inside this drop down and then select the Relink Battery or AC option. And then you would go ahead and left click on OK. Select Close and then close out of here. Next thing you would do would be open up the Storm menu again. Type in Device Manager. Best match to come back with Device Manager. Go ahead and left click on that. And now you want to go expand the Network Adapter section. So expand that. Now in your case there should be something that says Realtek PCIe GPE Family Controller. Again, I'll have that up on the screen in the video, but you want to make sure you guys go and locate that one here and just right click on it and then select Properties. Then you want to left click on the Advanced tab. Again, you locate the Auto Disable Gigabit. You would go underneath the Value field here and select Relink Battery or AC. Again, being pretty straightforward about that. The only difference is you're going to be looking for it on your screen. I don't have it on my system, but that's what you're going to be looking for. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and just select OK. Close out of here. Then open up the Start menu. Type in CMD. Best match should say Command Prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. First command you want to type in is ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should say successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Next thing you want to do is type in netsh space winsock, w i n s o c k space reset exactly as it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. You will have to restart your computer in order to complete the reset, so just restart your computer and that should hopefully be about it. It should resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.